Hello friends, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. In this video, I am giving you a list of frequently asked PySpark interview questions in TCS. So this is the common questions uh, whenever you are attending a PySpark interviews uh, related to SQL, Spark, Python combination. Okay, some uh, questions you can expect from uh, more on uh, Spark. Why? Because it's a common uh, processing engine. If you are working in Scala or Java or Python, whatever language you are working, but the questions will be same and you have to explain uh, the background architecture and the process. So if you look at this uh, major interview questions, if you look at the, most of the questions, they concentrate on Spark here. So some interviews, they can concentrate on programming language uh, like PySpark means more on Python and they may ask you create some uh, Python functions and uh, some examples they can expect and uh, related to spark okay so and clusters so you can expect more if you look at these questions why rdd resilient then what is lineage and how it works in rdd and data frame differences between persist and cache so what is narrow and wide transformation what are shared variables and it uses okay how to define custom accumulated how to create a udf in spark how to use a Hive UDP in Spark. So these are the questions related to most are concentrated on Spark only. Okay. Why? Because if they have a huge requirement on majorly on Spark, so they are concentrating on Spark. Okay. Then you can expect more questions on Spark. Okay. If they are looking mainly for complete and programming language side, majorly on Python. So then you can expect more on Python side. So what are the accumulators and broadcast variables? The same question it is repeated if you look at this. So here also accumulator is there and shared variables. Shared variables is nothing but both are accumulators and broadcast. Okay. So based on your explanation, based on your previous question explanation, so you can expect another questions related to same subject. Then how to decide various parameter values in Spark submit. So whenever you are doing a Spark submit job, so how will decide the parameters? So difference between police and pre-partition. Then difference between RDD data frame and data set. Then when to use. So which one you prefer data frame or data set? And why we have a data frame and data set? That you have to explain. What is SKU join and how it works? And why shouldn't we use a group by transformation in Spark? And majorly you need to explain more on Shuffle related. So how Shuffle works in uh, Spark and how it will impact the performance. So you need to explain more on uh, Shuffling related. Then what is map side join in Spark? If you have a 100 GB memory and uh, sorry, if you have a 10 G, uh, 50 GB memory and a 10 GB data, so how Spark will process it? You need to explain the uh, distribution, panel processing, all these things. And you need to explain uh, memory parameters in a spark so if you have a good understanding on memory management spark memory management then you can explain with the example okay so executor memory storage memory uh, all this stuff you can explain then they will get a more clarity on that so you have a good understanding on memory management then whenever you are processing huge files if you have less infrastructure so how you will process this so they will get more clarity on that then challenges you faced in a spark project so frequently or maybe uh, most of the critical issues you faced in your development side uh, development time or maybe production time okay then what is paid rdd so when to use them and uh, most of the time they will ask you few transformations okay those are map flat map map partition for each for each partition and they will ask you a few differences between so then the performance optimization techniques so what are the performance optimization techniques you implemented in your project or which one we can follow so the best practices are maybe you can specify few performance uh, optimization skills okay then what happens if work and load fail so these are few uh, more are like uh, depending on your previous question answer okay difference between cluster and client mode so if you look at this most of the questions you see here spark related only so there is no programming related questions all are completely on spark so whenever you are attending interviews so you can expect these questions as well as related to sql related to python okay but 
as I told in my previous video, PySpark major uh, criticality is few people coming from uh, data warehousing and uh, big data background, few people are coming from uh, completely programming knowledge and programming experience. So when you are attending interviews, you can expect a few, like if the interview is more in uh, data warehousing background, you, you will expect more questions on SQL and uh, Spark. If the person is from programming language, you can expect more questions from uh, programming language related variables, RDDs, then uh, collection, the list, tuple, all this stuff. Okay. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you very much.